Hi everybody, welcome back to Brailsford Family Homestead. We're gonna do some more canning today. I'm excited about this one. It's habanero apricot jelly found in this book. They also have a recipe right under it for the spicy Thai chicken wings and I definitely wanna try that. And this jelly is one of the ingredients for that sauce. So I'm working through the habaneros I grew this year and so I'm excited for this one. I did have to do a step last night. You have to do it at least four hours ahead of time. So I'll insert that footage here. So I have my apricots that have soaked in the vinegar and I've got all of my other things together. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my apron and we'll get to putting this together. These are the star of the show for today. We have red onion. This is a habanero peppers, a red bell pepper. This is the apricots soaked in the vinegar and we have six cups of sugar and a pouch of pectin. So we're gonna take everything except for the pectin and get it into my Dutch oven. We gotta bring it to a full rolling boil. This recipe says that it will make six of the half pint or the jelly size jars. So I'm using a smaller canner today. This is just another enamel pot that I have, but I do have a trivet in the bottom. So it's just less water to heat up since I'm only going to be doing six jars. I have seven in there just in case. And we're going to be using the superb lids, lids <laughs> again today, hoping for all those to seal. So I'm going to use my Dutch oven. You need to use that or a stainless steel pot to cook this in. I am gonna turn, once I get all this in, I am gonna turn the vent on so it might be a little bit loud just because, uh, you know, I do have other people home and me, and these have, even though this isn't a lot, this is a, a quarter cup, I think, of habaneros, the fumes can be a lot. If you've ever made pepper jelly, you know, <laughs> or salsas for that matter. <laughs> This is gonna, I'm gonna turn the heat on and be stirring this. It's gonna take a little bit, but I need to get this to a full rolling boil, meaning it, I can't stir away the boil. This is what it looks like at first. I'm still stirring all of that together, but as this heats up, that sugar will liquefy. I'm really excited to try this on a number of things, but especially those wings. We have a whole bunch of hot wings from Butchering Chickens. And so making my own wing sauce will be fabulous. I also intend to gift some of this to a few people we love that love hot sauce and hot things. This is on high heat. It's not taking long. Okay, we have a full rolling boil here. And I'm going to add the pectin all at once and keep stirring. The only problem with this is hoping that it doesn't breach the edges because it does boil up. So I didn't do it this time, but typically I cut the top off of my pectin and have it on the side so I can just grab it <laughs> and pour it in and not have to leave that boil for a second where it will boil up. Okay. Put all of that in there. Okay, keep going. Want, want bring it to back to a boil if it has gone down and boil it for one minute. 
This is where I love having devices that can do the timers for you. Alexa, set a timer for one minute. Alexa, stop. Okay, I'm gonna take this off of the heat and start jarring this up. Now we need one quarter inch head space. Let me get my things closer. <laughs> I forgot uh, my papers for wiping. It looks pretty. Just a little bit more in there. All right. <laughs> Somehow turned on the sink. <laughs> These jars, these lids, I should say, it's perfect to tell you three fingers. So there we go. First one done. It definitely looks like there's more than six of these in here though. <laughs> All the jars are in. I ended up getting seven of the half pints. We'll bring that back up to a full boil and process them for 10 minutes. There is a little bit left in here, so let's give it a taste. <laughs> While I was jarring those up, my daughter came in and she <laughs> she's like, oh, I have to leave, it's so spicy. I was like, I'm sweating. <laughs> so I guess the, the smell is pretty spicy. <laughs> There's a little piece of apricot here. I'm thinking this would also be good as a pepper jelly over cream cheese with crackers. You know, if you've ever had that, sort of, that's really good. I'm assuming it's spicier, so let's see. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. That's going to make such a good wing sauce, and I am 100% trying this over cream cheese with crackers. That is so good. I'm gonna have to buy some more apricots and make more because seven with me sharing is not gonna be enough. <laughs> that sounds scared me. <laughs> Something popped is just the it coming to a boil. Okay, I'll bring you back when they're all done and we'll pull them out of the canner. I decided I need to test this with some cream cheese and a cracker since I had some extra. So I have a little cream cheese here. <laughs> I think it's gonna be really good. I think I'll give some to my husband too. Hopefully these crackers aren't stale. They've been in the cabinet for a while. This might be my new go-to little hors d'oeuvre. All right, here we go. Oh, hold on, I gotta get a piece of something. I think that that is a piece of habanero, so let's just go for that. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Even with slightly stale crack. <laughs> That's really good. Let's see what Joe thinks. I didn't feel Joe trying it because he's working from home today, but he did try it. Now, he agrees with me, those crackers, a little uh, a little on the stale side, <laughs> but he liked it. He does prefer the, the jalapeno pepper jelly for on cream cheese though, but he also does not uh, like hot stuff like I do. <laughs> 
but agrees that it'll probably make a fabulous wing sauce. So I'm excited to eat more of this over the coming days and try it in various things. So we've got a little bit longer before it's time to take them out of the canner. Time is up. And we'll let that sit there for five minutes and then we'll take them out of the canner and see what they look like. I just wanted to pop this in here. It's the next day and I am cleaning my jars and getting my stickers to put on them. They all did seal, but I wanted you to see what they look like when they're all done. And to point out that it is not uncommon for the solids to float up to the top like that with a lot of jellies. So all you have to do when you open this is you just stir it and then it'll be incorporated through your entire jar. Happy canning. Thanks for coming along with me as we made this beautiful and delicious apricot habanero jelly. I'm looking forward to using this and experimenting with it. Let me know if you give it a try. Until next time, God bless. Thank you.